as both teams made their way out of the tunnel, these folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Indianapolis Colts and the Washington football team. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. At their own 20-yard line. is incomplete. By the way, I gotta apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays I'm eking over in your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm gonna get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on-air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual I know. for you. My bad. Normally you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm gonna try to tighten things up here for this next play. Downfield is taken in by his running back. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A gain there of 21 yards. First down, Colts. QB keep it here off the option. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. Six yards there on the keeper. It's second down. Now that's what he can do you know, when he keeps the football. It's not a huge gain, but it shows how hard it can be to stop it. Yeah, and I thought the defense had that one pretty well contained. And in fact, they probably came up and felt pretty good about what they did. Then they looked up and realized he still got good yardage out of it. He's a tough guy to stop. And very little running room there. He did get a couple up to the 49. His 49-yard line. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. They'll go to the air here on third and two. And that is incomplete. The quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. Now Sanchez on to punt here as he sends this one away. And did he put that on a dime? He did. Wow. Out of bounds at the one-yard line. We're certainly not going to see a better punt than that. Definitely taking a chance because if that thing clips the pylon, it comes out to the 20. But instead, it goes out of bounds. Haskins from his own end zone. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And this one will be taken up. They'll spot it right at the seven. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. At the seven-yard line. Here we go. 50's the mic. 50's 
And he's going to be taken down shy of the 10 right around the 9-yard line. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. It's a gain of two. Brings up third and three. Here's Haskins to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Now he will have the first down as he's up to his 17-yard line. First and 10 at the 17. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. the shotgun Haskins he's gonna fire one deep he's got a man complete and they nearly get this all the way to midfield mark him down at the 49 Washington a gain of 32 that time first and 10 at the 49 yard line the big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and 10 from the shotgun now. Here's an inside give. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Colts territory. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Second down and four. Haskins. That'll be caught. It's Steven Sims. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air. Nice chunk of yardage there. And then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. From the red zone now, Haskins on first down. They'll set up the screen for Gibson. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Ball on the eight, it's second and four. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And once again, this Colts defense stops him behind the line of scrimmage. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Here's Haskins out of the gun. The Colts D sticking to their assignments, and that brings up fourth. Well, that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. And on third down, they said, forget about the sticks. We want six. down the field only getting three there it kind of feels like a win for the defense and it does they'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better that they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them but if i were the offense i wouldn't hang my head over that one that's a good drive and three points were put on the board takes this about five yards deep and that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20 at their own 20 yard line
The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Indianapolis. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Flush to his right. It's complete here to T.Y. Hilton. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A gain of 11 that time at a Colts first down. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the gun, it's Taylor. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. The ball carrier. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. No gain on the play. Brings up second and 10 at the 47-yard line. to throw now on second and ten. Into double coverage and it's intercepted. Monte Nicholson picks it. And a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. What a start defensively. Your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7-zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than prepared for that one. On first down, it's Gibson. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This defense is really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get his running game going. Now he'll let it go deep. And got his man complete. And he'll be out of bounds. Give him 32 on the play. First down and goal to go. Now Haskins to throw it. And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. Now, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Hopkins with the extra point, and the lead grows to 10 0. Oh, it's nothing. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Taken about seven yards deep. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. At their own 19-yard line.
The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. On second down, here's the option. Quick throw here to Hilton. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. They'll look to throw here on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end five yards now it's third and five the last play on the completion got them half of what they needed now here's a tough third and five back to throw again and able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down back-to-back -back receptions for him and it's another first down it's a gain of 10 well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. And he is down at the 48. A pickup of four that started at 148-yard line and ended at the other. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Six at the 48-yard line. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. He gets this into the hands of Taylor. And they move this all the way down to the nine. 39 yards there, a big one for an offense that has not found the end zone yet. That's a big play. There's the spark right there. The big play that they needed. Now they've got to go ahead and finish this drive and put this ball in the end zone. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. And he'll try the option on first and goal. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. No gain on the play leads to second and goal at the nine yard. Line. Again, it'll be Taylor. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor, his 14th touchdown now on the year. And the Colts able to get this back with it, a touchdown. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. Makes this Washington 10, Colts 7. Rigoberto Sanchez to kick off for Indianapolis. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. This taken in about four yards deep. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. At their own 25-yard line. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offensive summit. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. 
So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Haskins will throw. Slings this deep from McLaurin. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off at the 39. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. That's now a second interception in as many weeks from his linebacker position. And think about all the different techniques he has to employ in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because it's zone? Is he picking up man to man? Is he having to run with a running back or a tight end? In any event, great eyes, head on a swivel, and excellent hands. Yeah, versatility and showing those hands. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off okay so they gave up the completion but i really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync stayed in great communication and as he dragged across each zone you see him pointing communicating there he is and they passed him off to each defender ended up making a nice play even though it was complete and he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16 yard line it's a game six yards to pick up and that's a first down Throw. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. Jonathan Taylor, he scored on the ground and through the air. And the Colts have taken the lead. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, it held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal four and take it. Washington takes over his first down 10 their own 25-yard line. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your... Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, throwing back across his body. Picked off by Kenny Moore. And he will have a first down as they're into field goal range now at the 30. You're trailing. You're trying to get points late in half. I absolutely understand that. But remember, it's all about the ball. And without the ball, you can't get those points. They just turned it over. Now you got to be careful because that deficit can get a little bigger on the other side with that good field position they just took over with. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. To number eight, the Colts going to use the first of their timeouts the pickup, as the stoppage will come with 23 two, seconds to go till halftime. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Now an option play on second down. There's a quick throw right side, and it's complete. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. 
intended for Paris Campbell. Incomplete. Brings up second and ten. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. man it's Hilton for the Colts touchdown T.Y. Hilton in the final seconds of the first half and the Colts add on to their lead and that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half good way to finish things off yeah able to extend that lead and you always say it that can totally change the complexion of half number two yeah it changes your morale changes your outlook but even before that Let's see if they decide to kind of squib kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff because you don't want to give up a big play we right before the half ends. Good point. For Indianapolis. So not much time to work with here. Nine seconds remain in the half as this one is away. And this carries into the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, Washington down on the scoreboard, but they are getting the football first here, and we are back underway on EA Sports. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. Over first and 10 at their own 31-yard line. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. They'll look to make some inroads here, trailing 21 to 10 as they come up on a first and 10. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Now Haskins on first down. The throw taken in by Sims. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Now Haskins. Over the middle, it's complete. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 36. 15 yards the pickup. First down, Washington. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 36. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he won't get much. Maybe a couple down inside the 35 to the 34. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter. No time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but... There are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal at the three-yard line. They'll try to run this one in. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. 
Sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two-score game, second half. You're down here. This is the time to put it in the end zone. And not going to get much better than this for an opportunity. On third and goal, Haskins to the end zone, but it's incomplete. He's had trouble finding open receivers all game, CD, and that's because really there hasn't been any. This defense has been all over them. Yeah, they're one of the better defenses in the league, and every time I talk to someone around the NFL, they all say the exact same thing. They're so fundamentally sound, it's hard to execute against them. Rolling to his right. And yet again, Haskins is intercepted third time. Picked off by Darius Leonard, the linebacker. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. He's got the lane, and there he goes. The 40, past the 20. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Jonathan, Jonathan Taylor, Taylor, his third touchdown of the game, number 16 on the season. And the Colts, they add on to their advantage. Partner, they had a good lead as they went in at the half, and they came out here in the second half and found a way to extend it. I love their consistency. Don't worry about what they said at halftime. This seemed like a team that was ready to play 60 minutes. And while this game is far from over, I love their approach. Sanchez now. He'll kick it away following the touchdown. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Washington will take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told him, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the football and everything else should flow from there. Quick lesson, never ask the play-by-play -play guy a question. And that's caught inside the 35. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. It's a gain of 35. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Obviously, they're not where they want to be right now on the scoreboard. Big plays like that, though, that'll trend them in the right direction. Yeah, a few more like that, they'll be right back in the game. And if they can continue to do that, maybe they'll inspire their defense as well to get a few stops. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. But the passing windows are just not there. That's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top 10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. Second and ten now, Haskins. And that'll be caught by St. Brown. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defender. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Darius Leonard, the linebacker. He's at the 50, 30, the 20, 10. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a Colts TD. Rodrigo Blankenship. This D wanted to put it away before we even get to the fourth quarter, widening that margin a bit further. And while they won't just empty the bench just yet, if you're a backup, Start loosening up. I think I'll get a chance to play before this one is over now with that type of a cushion. 
So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This taken in about four yards deep. And Sims says, let's bring it out to the 25. At their own 25-yard line. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last, that didn't bother you too much last time? No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. Brings up third and five. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Here's Tressway now. Back now at FedEx Field. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. Here's Tressway now as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. He only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And the Colts are going to take over, albeit deep in their own territory. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. We find ourselves here in the midst of a one-sided affair. A lot of a lot of fill time down the stretch, Mr. Davis. So we could talk about food because that is something that you and I we, both we, enjoy. We, share we, that. we enjoy our time at the table. So maybe the best steakhouses in the city, but in all seriousness, the performances that we've seen this year, we've seen a bunch of great ones. And it's going to be hard to parse who's going to win the MVP. Yeah, it really is. Is it going to be a runner? Is it going to be a thrower? Can a defender finally win it this season? Those are the things that we could probably discuss. And collectively, this is about as dominant of a performance as you could have hoped for on both sides of the football. Might have to put it number one for what we've seen this season. First and ten, Taylor now. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. He's having a big game running the football, but that one will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far, that's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't he? Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And now nothing but green ahead of him. The 30, 10, touchdown, Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor, 77 yards. As his guys continue to put this one out of reach. As that lead just swells and swells. Look, this has been dominance in all three phases, offense, defense, and special teams. So don't we have to give a lot of credit, not just to what we've seen today, but the preparation in advance, coaching staff, commitment by the players to the game plan, and being ready to go in this one? You're exactly right. Clean sweep. And boy, they're going to celebrate this one after it's over. And on the other side, this is the game film you just flush and never go back and review. Washington will take over first and 10 at their own 18-yard line.
The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But so, Hey, listen, there's going to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Going to throw right side here. Complete. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. And he's been one of their few bright spots here this afternoon. And as you pointed out, so far he's gotten his. That's not been the issue at all. But the teammates, the other guys, they've been shut down. That's why the defensive guys have to feel pretty good, even though he's over 100 yards. Yeah, he topped 100 with that last catch. Slings this deep from McLaurin. That's caught inside the 20. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Terry McLaurin hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And Washington able to cut into that deficit. And it's up and good. Makes the score Colts 42, Washington 17. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Takes it at the 7. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Colts take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And it's starting to look like that three-game losing streak is going to be a thing of the past here. Coming up first and 10 in the fourth quarter. Now a throw downfield is taken in by his running back. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 39 yards the distance covered on the catch and run. Boy, another big play late here for an offense, Charles. It certainly has had its fair share of big plays. Coverage has been a problem all game long. And I would say that going along with that has been confidence. Because even if they had the right coverage, they've still dented them. And now it's been a real issue for them during this game. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. It's a loss of two. Brings up second and 12 at the 39-yard line. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. They'll find Everett there, complete. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. A gain of 13, it's a first down. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, but boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take and go like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. 12 more yards there and another first down. Catch number 100 for his career right there, and it's good enough to keep the chains moving. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw and give them another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Fair catch made at the 25-yard line. Washington takes over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Second and 10. At the 20, they'll keep it on the ground. Gibson. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. Oh, 
So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. He's going to let it fly. And now here is another interception. Picked off at the 21. And he'll bring this all the way up to the 45-yard line. CD, this defense, I mean, at this rate, they're just having fun out there right now. And normally with this type of a lead, if you're a starter on defense, you're saying, hey, let the other guys play. But with this going on, no one wants to come out of the game. They all want their shot at picking off a pass. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Watch Twins. Watch Twins. They run once more with Taylor. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners taking care of the football because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. At the 37-yard line. On second down, it's Taylor. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Four yards the pick up, first down. I've got an idea. Let's skip racing to the airport at the end of this game. Let's go to the post-game press conference. I have a feeling... First, the quarterback of this winning team is going to be giving a whole lot of credit to the running game the offensive line. Yeah, I was just going to say the offensive line, yes, carrying the ball has been key, but those guys up front, they've made a lot of space. 17.